Closing arguments finished today, and the jury is now deciding if a man who's accused of shooting a Lynn County deputy is indeed guilty. Stanley Donahue is facing charges connected to a robbery and that shooting at the Casey's in Coggin that happened in 2021. They say he shot the sheriff's deputy, Will Halverson, seven times. Halverson was responding to the initial call about the robbery the night of June 20th. Police say Donahue ran away after shooting the officer, prompting a 12-hour manhunt across eastern Iowa. The search ended when our TV9 news crew spotted Donahue walking along Highway 13 near Coggin the next day. KCRG TV9's Emily Sherrod brings us more from the trial and what comes next. Emily? Yeah, Beth, the jury received the case at 1.30 this afternoon. They're now reviewing testimonies from both the prosecution and the defense. That testimony and video shown throughout the trial was part of Lynn County Attorney Nick Maybank's closing arguments in court earlier today, saying the evidence is clear that Donahue is guilty. The defense brought in a psychologist psychology professor to try to dispute claims from eyewitnesses saying it's possible that Donahue is not the man responsible. However, during the prosecution's closing arguments, the Lynn County Attorney Nick Maybanks repeated that Deputy Halverson had identified Donahue as the person who shot him. Seconds before this cold and calculated act, Deputy Will Halverson had looked into the face, into the eyes of the man that had just tried to take his life. He testified in this trial. We asked him who did it. He said it was the defendant. We asked him how sure he was. He said 100%. You can reasonably think it's possible that it was Stanley Donahue in the KC's, while also thinking it's reasonably possible it was not Stanley Donahue in the KC's. And if you can do that, there's reasonable doubt on the identity issue that would require a not guilty verdict. Since the jury didn't reach a verdict today, they'll reconvene tomorrow. If he's convicted on all 10 charges, Donahue could face up to 112 years in prison. When the verdict comes in, we'll have it online at KCRG.com as well as right here on air. In the studio, Emily Schrod, KCRG TV9 News.